Can your drill do this? This is an 8 by 8 inch piece of wood. This is a half inch by 18 inch drill bit. Let's see what happens. Just to let you know that I'm not cheating. Now let's get started. Now that was crazy, huh? That was crazy. Now, I know some of you aren't impressed, but that's okay because I got something for you. I got some bigger bits and I got some stuff that I'm about to do that this drill is gonna wow you. Today, I'm gonna do this review on this bushless 20 volt hammer drill driver from a company named TechPo. Before I get to all the fun stuff, let me show you a little bit about the drill, give you the specs, and then we'll jump to it. Look at this. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, on the drill, you get a belt clip that could be mounted on either side. You get a 20 volt max 2.0 lithium battery. You get a light that battery. The battery slides off in the front. You have your reverse, your forward reverse. You have your two speeds. Then on your mode dial, you have three, three icons. You have your drill, drive, and hammer. On the drive, it's a 21 clutch speed. Your chuck is made out of metal and it's a half inch. Then you just have this on the back. Okay, these are the tests that I'm gonna run to show you just how powerful this 20 voltless drill is. Right here, we're looking at a two by four. Anything can go through that. Any drill can go through that. We're looking at a 4x4, four four. any drill can go through that. We're looking at a 4x6, nah, maybe not any drill, but a lot of drills can go through this. What I'm going to be working with is this 8x8x13 eight by eight by inch piece of huge wood. Now, I have the quarter inch auger bit in here, because I know some of you wasn't, weren't impressed. I went and got a 3 fourths uh, auger bit, 3 fourths of an inch by 18 inches long, we're gonna see if we can go through this way. Cause anything can go that way or this way. We're gonna see how this thing can handle going through 13 inches of wood. Okay, we're gonna start out with this huge piece of wood and this huge bit. All right, we're locked. That's ready to go. That's ready to roll. I have this in drop drill mode and I have it on torque one. So let's see. Wow, are you kidding me? That is insane. That is insane. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, let's back this baby out. Oh my goodness. I tell you the truth, I didn't know what was gonna happen. That's the first time I've ran that test. That's crazy. This is an 18 inch bit. This is 13 inches of wood. To even turn the bit is heavy. I mean, look, look at how the bit tilts the drill. 
Wow. Next test. As I'm just holding it, feels very comfortable in the hand, very good balance, nice rubber grip, balanced very well. Clutches, turns very easy. The mold dial, I like it because you have to turn it kind of hard because it gives you some resistance so it just won't slip. Kind of like that a lot. Very nice drill. Let's put this baby to the test. I'm going to give you a link to get more information about this brushless drill. Here you will be able to see more pictures and get all the specs of the drill. Plus, I will give you a link to their store so you can see their other drills. All the drills work with the same battery. Just for watching this video, TechPo will offer you a 20% off discount code which is the name of my channel, Oxman again. Bringing this incredible drill down to under a hundred dollars. That's not bad. Uh, could you guys move? You know I'm trying to record here. Uh, could you move, please? You see the camera? The camera's on. Let's say you're building uh, a deck, a patio cover, a gate or a fence, something that's going to require a lot of screws. This is a three inch screw. Let me show you how easily this handles it. I have it on drill mode. problem this is what comes with the drill you get your bag with the company's logo on it TechPo the bag just opens up and you see all the contents in the bag one zipper then you get this little tool that just you know it's one of those tools that helps you get into real tight spaces uh, I think this is pretty cool you get an entire little bit set that's pretty cool but uh, we're gonna be using some heavy-duty stuff and then you get two batteries. Just like most chargers, if the battery is too hot, it, it'll flash until it's ready to start charging. And then you just have a charging button and a full button. The battery just slides in, clicks into place like that. Let me plug it up. I just plugged it in. It says full. Now it's on the charging. I'm going to hit my stopwatch. Go. Okay. Okay, as we see, the battery just turned to green, and it's at, turn this on for you guys, it's at 38 minutes and 5 seconds. So it's about 37 and a half minutes. That's about the time that it's been averaging. I have a Forstner bit set. It goes from a quarter inch up to an inch. We're going to focus on that inch bit. The one inch Forstner bit. I'm going to see uh, how many holes I can drill through this and see just how fast it goes through. We're going to drill. Put it on two. Six holes, six one-inch holes drilled through this. Not a problem. This thing is about to look like Swiss cheese. I have some cement screws. We're going to see how it handles drilling into cement. Then I'm looking at, I have, what are these? These are four and a half inch, four and a half inch by quarter inch bolts. See how 
See how those go? And I have a whole bunch of four inch by half inch bolts. See how those work? Right here is a concrete bit. This is three eighths by six inches. We're gonna put that hammer drill to the test. This is a inch and a half thick piece of paper. A lot more condensed and solid than the brick. Let's see how long it takes me to drill through this. I got the uh, mason bit in. Put it on hammer mode, put it in two. Let's see. And to round it off, I have one of these little Samson Strong Ties. This is probably, I don't know, one two sixteenths of an inch thick. We're going to see how good the hammer drill can drill through some metal, drill through some cement. We're going to test it out on some wood. We're going to see what this thing could do. Now let's have some fun. I thought I'd put the uh, three quarters of an inch drill bit back in just for souvenir purposes, just like this one. I'm not going to be using that anymore because you've already seen it. So, next up, I'm going to take these four and a half inch by quarter inch uh, lag screws, zero pre drilled, and just drive them in. I'm going to put on the 10 millimeter bit. Alright, I'm going to put this on drive, set the clutch to 21. Let's see if it, uh, if it makes it. I'm going to put it on speed 2. Let's see. Goggles on. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're working with. All right. So, yeah, all right. I thought that was gonna happen. So now I'm putting it on uh, drill. All right. All right. So that's on speed two. Switch it over to speed one. Let's see what, what uh, a lot of torque does. Alright, ah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so take these out. See if, if speed two would take them out. got me a cinder block. I'm going to put the concrete bit in. And uh, you know what? I'm going to put it in drill first and then move it over to hammer just to see. So I'm going to put it on speed two and drill. Let's see. Put it over here, I was shaking everything. I'm putting it on a hammer, let's see if there's a different sound. Well, I know there's a different sound, I'm gonna let you hear the sound. But, just like drilling through this wood right here, I didn't go this way. I went the long way. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna see if this big, how far it can go in. Let's see. I have it on hammer. I have it on two speed. Let's see. Alright, 
So it just about bottomed out. It went in, I don't know, is that like four or five inches deep? I mean, look how deep it went in. That's crazy. <laughs> nice and strong. Put it on one and see what it'll do. See if it turns the job up. One took it all the way down. All right? Now uh, I'm gonna get the screws and uh, I'm gonna screw these screws into here. By the way, same battery. Next test, I'm gonna take these blue cement screws and I'm going to drive them into the center block. First, I'm gonna drill some pilot holes. Drill some pilot holes. Pre-drilled holes, I'm gonna put it on, let me put it on a uh, dry. Oh wow, that was not a problem at all. That was not a problem at all. Actually, I'm gonna put it on, uh, let me put it on, uh, let me put it on clutch 17, see if it stops. Oh, not a problem. I guess this is too easy. Put it on uh, like five, just to show you that it's working. Just to show you that it's working. Just to show you that it's working. Okay, next test. Okay, before I switch over to these big lag bolts, let me just show you how your everyday uh, wood bit would work. This is just a little 3 8 bit. Just gonna put it on a uh, drill. And let's just see, I'm putting it on two. You know, put it on torque, put it on one, let's see. drill on speed one. I'm just showing you the capabilities of the drill. Now let me switch over to my Ryobi set. I have my Ryobi uh, 31 piece drill and driver kit. So uh, let me switch over to something big. Let's go for a half an inch. This is an inch wood bit. Inch wood bit. Inch wood bit. Hmm. Uh, I'm curious to see. Put this back in two. And uh, let's see. I think you get the idea. That is pretty amazing. It went that deep. This is an inch drill bit. All right, let's, uh, let me switch over now so I can drill some pilot holes so I can uh, see if I can drill these big lag bolts in. Let's see, get my, get my drill bit. Let's see, I have seven lag bolts. Lag screws, so I drew seven holes. Okay, that's two. I'm turning the camera off, drew the rest, turning back on, drew the screws in. This is the seventh uh, hole that I'm drilling with this half inch bit. Put the uh, 
socket in. This is a 19 millimeter socket. And uh, put this on one. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the battery has finally died on me. Uh, uh, that was a lot, <laughs> and it's finally died. Let me switch on over now. Next, I'm gonna drill through this Samson tie. Drill a couple holes. I have it on hammer drill, and it's on two. problem as I'm going through it's vibrating I feel like I'm uh, working a jackhammer you know I've had this drill now for a couple weeks and this has become my favorite tool now, I forgot to add this the reason why I didn't do a comparison is because all the drills that I have are 18 volt and I don't think it would be fair to compare a 20 volt bushless to my 18 volt so if you guys have any suggestions on what drill I should get that can compete with this thing maybe a DeWalt maybe a Milwaukee but it has to be a hammer drill let me know in the uh, description below uh, whichever one wins I might go buy that particular drill and see how a hundred and twenty dollar drill stacks up to one of those three hundred dollar drills the thing has so much power I'm never going to need to drill through a 13 inch piece of wood, but it's good to know that if I ever need to, I can. The drill is, is it for a professional? I don't know because I'm not a professional and I don't know exactly what they put their tools through. I know for a homeowner, this is going to be more than adequate. If you're say building, rebuilding a fence, if you're building or rebuilding a patio cover, um, uh, some if you're taking lug nuts off on your car, uh, building a doghouse, or anything of that nature, this drill by all means is super more than capable. I never told the price. <laughs> this thing is drum roll, only $119. That's crazy. You get drill driver a hammer drill 20 volt with a warranty the warranty alone is worth the 119 that's that is just insane 119 for that type of power uh do i gotta remind you 13 inches <laughs> so that is my review of the 20 volt bushless tepco tep pole tech Tech pole. Hope I'm saying that right. I've been saying it my own way. Tech pole. I don't know. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, as usual. I always appreciate everyone for watching my video. If you have enjoyed yourself and you think somebody else just might get a kick out of this, uh, you always want to show somebody a new tool or a new powerful tool. Go ahead and share that link so someone else. Uh, one of your friends might enjoy it as well as you did. Now, for everyone that stayed this long, I have a bonus bonus tip. This is a one inch, 18 inch auger bit. Let's see what this can go through. You guys have a good one. Let's see. Let's see.
I think this is probably the most impressive test that I did. It made it eight inches with a one inch drill bit. Eight inches, that's crazy. Eight inches, you're going through anything you want. This drill is amazing. 